Can you talk about your cell discipline? Sure. Yeah, cell discipline is critical, really, I think, in any investment approach. Ours, we consider our cell discipline to be one of our biggest competitive advantages. So um, sort of the opposite of what I just described triggers our cell event. If we're sensing fundamental fatigue, so that sustainable growth profile is showing signs of maturing, uh, or if there's evidence that the underestimated growth that we were seeking that maybe caused us to have exposure to an investment, if that's showing fatigue and we're no longer sensing there's as much momentum to the business, they're showing maybe less and less upside to the actual estimates, or it seems like when we look at the financial statements that they're reaching to perform at the same level that they had performed at, and we can look at various lead indicators of that, that can trigger us to sell a security. Um, we have a very um, sort of no-nonsense approach when it comes to looking at stocks in our portfolio and triggering sell events. There are a lot of stocks to choose from. You pointed that out earlier. And the philosophy is really, why do we want to waste our time holding sort of dead weight in the portfolio for the clients and mutual fund investors? If there's evidence of fundamental fatigue, it's time to reduce exposure. And how much we reduce is going to vary situation by situation. But our mindset is to act quickly. See, what tends to happen is when we own it and it's in sort of beat and raise mode and they're executing well, the valuation tends to expand while that's happening. And so maybe a, a PE ratio on a stock went from 20 times to 45 times over the course of six or seven quarters while they were beating and raising. And then things start to change and some of the metrics start showing fatigue and you're at this elevated valuation. Uh, when we sense that fatigue, it's important to act quickly because that valuation expansion you enjoyed when they were executing well is vulnerable to compressing again. And so it's really important. If you're going to traffic in higher expectation stocks, it's important that you've kind of got one foot out the door uh, at all times and you're watching these closely and you're, and you're carefully uh, looking at those lead indicators. And if you sense fatigue, it's you need to act quickly because that there is vulnerability there. And that's exactly what we do. And I'm talking a lot about how great our cell discipline is. We've actually put numbers on this and we've studied stocks we've actually sold from the portfolio. And it turns out that those persist as losers after we've sold them from the portfolio on average. And so it adds a lot of sort of credibility to the words I'm saying that the cell discipline is so value added. I mean, we can point to history and it's not a forecast, it's what's actually happened. And it's, it's very compelling and it's, I think, resonated well with uh, investors that we've talked to. Well, it seems that trading costs are very low and compared to losing capital. So how do you uh, try and minimize taxes in that scenario? Right, right. And I think that's a myth that's out there. Um, we, the myth being above average turnover is an automatic for tax inefficiency. We buy and hold stocks for long periods of time. We like to let our winners run. And so we're deferring gains for long periods of time. When we get losing situations, we're acting quickly and we're realizing those losses quickly. And that in and of itself is very tax efficient, not tax inefficient, which is I think the myth part. And so if you look historically at uh, our mutual fund, we have shown a very uh, strong tendency for tax efficiency. So you're right, trading costs are low. That has helped enable us to have above average turnover. It's not extremely high, but it's, it's above average. But importantly, it's very value added. As I pointed out, those stocks persist as losers after we sell them. And it's nice that we can sell those stocks uh, at a fairly low cost. The commission, trading commissions continue to uh, drop uh, over the last several years. And that's, that makes it uh, more beneficial to us to have that approach. <laughs>